It's noon and trains are crossing at Southeast Clinton and 11th, stopping traffic. It's ridiculous. Each day, about 34 TriMet and Union Pacific trains combined go by at this crossing. The complaints are with Union Pacific. I don't understand why they can't uh, run the trains at night. Driver David Portash is stuck, boxed in, and unable to move. And here we are, and we're probably going to be here for 30 minutes, and it's already been about eight minutes. He stopped right outside Whimsy Wandering. Teething necklaces, but they're also, you know, like fashiony. Lana Bird's small clothing boutique with a street front view. I have a love hate relationship with the trains because people stop right in front of my shop, so I get a little bit more visibility that way, um, but also I've been stuck many times. She says when trains stop on the tracks like they did yesterday. Drivers get impatient. Lots of U-turns, lots of turning around, lots of uh, people driving the other way because it's a one way. So sometimes it's a little freaky. You look out and it's like, ah, people are going backwards. One of the common complaints we have from our patrons is that the trains just park. Vince Patton runs a small nonprofit in the same area. He shot this video Wednesday and says it took over an hour for the train to get moving again. To me, it's absurd that trains are allowed to paralyze part of the city. It's a one-way street though, you know, so if it's a two-way street, be easier to get out. But it's a one-way street, so people are literally trapped by these trains. He's seen it get so bad that his nonprofit donated $200 to the Albina Relocation Project. The group's trying to raise $25,000 to study rail yard relocation. Patton has an idea. Either make this no longer an at-grade crossing, either lower the street or raise the street to get over the tracks, or move the rail yard to another area. Luckily for drivers, today's stoppage was pretty short. Here we go. This is a short one. I got stuck in it um, earlier this week, and I was here for 35 minutes. Spokesperson for Union, Union Pacific acknowledged the problem, the complaints, and said they're working on a solution. One of them was having trains possibly leave earlier in the day. Let's hope we get fixed sometime soon.